But thank God. Thank God it's about finishing. How hug somebody and tell somebody finish it. Finish it. Hug somebody, tell them finish it. Yeah, me and you grow, but I hey, can you finish? Woo! Hey! Whoa, 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 and he's on the ladder going up there. Praise the Lord. Young man. I don't have a man. I have high position, you know. But I don't have a man. And I dim the people in me love. You're high in a position, but you're still that grown. Because yeah, some people never going away yet. And they never go. Jesus Christ. Glory! Look here. You have some people with a Pharisee's attitude. They're not a publican attitude, Pharisee's attitude. So everything they're up there. But I love the publican attitude. Lord, have mercy upon me. I see now. Come on, somebody. And I'm glad for him tonight. His wife is right over here, Missionary Brown. And we are glad to have them in our midst. But we hear what happened. Could you stand, man, please? She is a youth president for Bethel, and he is the vice president. What a something. What a something. God bless. Bless the Lord, church. Bless the Lord, church. Just say Jesus. Hallelujah. God is, you don't even have to shout because the presence is here. Hallelujah. Saints of God, when I stepped in, I wanted to start dancing from inside the car. I could feel the presence emanating outside. I wanted to just, Jesus, hallelujah. I must acknowledge the holy presence because he's worthy. It's nothing good that I have done. I greet you all in the matchless name of Jesus. Ministers, choir, saints of God, God is good. You know, I look at your theme. It says, finish the race. Today, the theme at church was, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most, I shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Look here. How are you going to finish this race if you do not abide? You must abide under the shadow so you can run this race with patience. Saints of God, it's not easy. There are many obstacles. You'll have friends that will want to cut you down. Your very saints, your brothers, your mothers, your fathers will cut you down. But once you abide under the shadow of the Almighty, the race, hallelujah, is already taken care of. Once you abide, Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. All right. You see, me love work with him. Me spirit work with him. We're in May, right? The fourth turn in May is what? You turn it. Come back, you turn it. You're going to preach for us. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Anything is just dropping on my spirit, me just work with it. Somebody, somebody just wave you and like you're crazy and say, Jesus. Jesus. Stand with me in the house. Glory. My God of people. Oh, Baba Sheko. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's about this time. Our speaker for the night, a friend, a brother. We always been meeting on the farm. Sometimes in preach, me wind up. Sometimes when he don't preach, nobody not let me wind up. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> but a man that is humble. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I always enjoy his ministry. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. 
like me and him and Nicholas and some other one and Leslie, when you meet up, we don't have to call about who we preach. <laughs> Anyone God decides to preach, you need one support them. And this is what we want to get into a young preachers coming up. If you are there and you are not called on, support the one who is called on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Too much ten a cut on platform now. We want to cut it out. Yeah, man. You're coming like say you retire from worship. Come on, no? We want people when you come up, when you come to church, you come to worship. If well on, if you can't be a worshiper, you can't be a preacher, you know. What a moment right now. Choir, get ready. Choir, turn your vessels towards heaven. Something is about to happen. And it's not because of Pastor McKenzie, but something is in the atmosphere. Kim John decided to poison off the entire U.S. If they just mess with him. We want the poison of the Holy Ghost tonight. That we kill out this stuff. When if he did it. And oh God. Brother Real Man. Who are you going to watch tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It's in this atmosphere, Lord, I feel the presence of God. That I present to you our speaker for the night, Elder Simon Mackenzie. Receive him. Receive the church, sir. It's in your hands. In Jesus' name. Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting to be where you are. I've crossed the hardest desert. I've traveled narrow far for your glory. I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as I can for your glory. Yes, sir. I will do anything just to see you and be on you to behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. Oh, gotta be where you are. Yeah, I want to be where. Gotta be where you are. Let me try it again. Lord, if I find favor in your sight, Lord, please hear my heart's cry. I'm desperately waiting. To be where you are, I cross the hardest desert. I travel narrow far for your glory. I will do anything just to please you. To behold you as my king. For your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my king. I want to be where you are. I got to be where you are. I wanna be where you are. 
Ah, yeah, what? I gotta be where you are. Peace is where you are. Love is where you are. I wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. Gotta be where you are. Wanna be where you are. I gotta be where you are. I wanna be where you are. Hallelujah. Oh. Mm. Hallelujah. Dwelling in your presence. Fishing at your table, surrounded by your glory, in your presence. That's where I always want to be. I just want to be. I just want to be with you. I want to be where you are. Dwelling in your presence. Feasting at your table. Surrounded by your glory. In your presence. That's where I always want to be. Oh, oh, I just want to be. I just want to be. I just want to be with you. And just to be close. To you is where I want to be to hide myself inside your heart and find my destiny every step I take is one less step I need to be in your presence, close to you. Can I get close, close to you? Close to you. Closer to you. Can I get close, close to you, close to you, ah. closer to you, hallelujah, hallelujah, draw me near. Near our blessed Lord to the cross where thou hast died. Oh, draw me near. Oh, near our blessed ocean to the precious. Close to you, close to you, I am a shadow, sir, close, close to you, all I love, my pilgrim, save your life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Oh, oh, la, la. Oh, oh, save your land. To the book of First Corinthians, chapter nine. First Corinthians, chapter nine. As the Lord would have me tonight. Please don't sit yet. I won't be reading long. And I, I might be using a different text. But I promise you by the grace of God, I won't be out of context. Praise God. If you are at 1 Corinthians chapter 9, shout amen. Praise God. And at verse 24 said, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize. So run that ye may obtain. Put your Bibles down. And turn to your neighbor. Say, Neighbor, run to win. Oh, Tell somebody, run to win. Father, we come before you right now. I pray, Lord God, that self will be crucified at the cross right now. And that you'll be glorified in this house. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. We say thanks in Jesus' name. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. God is good, and I certainly honor him for tonight. Praise God. I'm glad that I'm here. At one point, it didn't look so possible. The other point, it was raining. Thank God when I called Pastor Sims, he told me that, uh, that the, the brethren here, they ain't dry with the Christians. So... And I, when I came, I realized you were talking the truth, Pastor. Praise God. And so I give God thanks that. Amen. We still have some people who will weather the weather. And, 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 and you know, just make sure we're in the presence of the Lord. You know, we come in way back when there were as much umbrellas open to the back as there were people sitting in the benches. Praise God, because we never had fancy cars. Now the Lord bless a lot of us with car and we don't want it to get wet. Praise God. You know, I just wash it and I don't want it to get dirty. So, you know, I can't go in the rain. Praise God. I just took it from the car wash. And, 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 and you know, it's worse because, you know, them, them church people, they're not even going to wipe their feet. They're just going to step in my car. And they're going to mud it up. And I just did an interior detail of the car, you know. So I can't afford to mess it up. So, because I don't want them to say, I don't want to give them no drive. I just stay home. The devil is a liar. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, it was, it was yesterday was I went to pick up my wife from work. I saw her coming with a whole heap of cardboard. And I say to myself, I don't even think those can fit in the trunk. And she said, well, it's rain time. So we have to make sure that the car is set so we can take people anytime. Praise God. Amen. And I give God thanks. Sometimes we be so crazy that we decide, oh, we're tired tonight. We're not going to church. And then we lay down in the bed and we start thinking, 
What if Sister Annette come to church? How will she go and get home? And we just get up and go to church. Praise the name of the Lord. We, we say, you know, I don't want nobody to get there and then they can't get home because it's raining. Praise God. And we just shake ourselves out of our bed and we just go to church. Praise the Lord. And sometimes it's late and we say, well, if it's even to take home somebody. Praise God. Amen. And some of you are still wondering why you're only riding bicycles. God, I feel like I'm preaching already. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. If you're not going to be a blessing, God will not bless you. He bless you so you can be a blessing. So if you want a car, you better start towing somebody on your bicycle. Uh-oh. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. God is a good God. Amen. Um. I'm trying to see if I see. I'm looking for some faces. I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm looking for Kimberly Blake Grove. Is she anywhere here? They told me she was getting ready. And I tell her, can I tell you what happened, Pastor? I told them at school sometime last week that I was going to be here Sunday. So, you know, Sunday gone, they came in the night thinking I would be here. And now I'm here, they're not here. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, Kimberly came to church, came to school Monday and said, Sir, vex with you. I said, Why are you vex? Because you let me go to church and you were not there. I said, Good. Keep on going. Amen. Praise God. Amen. God is a good God and we honor him and we give him the praise. I want to take time out to greet host pastor, Pastor Noel Sims and to Lady Sims and to Minister Brown. Praise God. Amen. You know, as I saw him coming up, I said to myself, this brother has a clean spirit. It's easy for me to, to detect people with clean spirit. It's easy. Once they, once, once they come around me, they don't have to say a word. If your spirit is clean, I know. You know, we have a whole lot of ministers that don't have clean spirit. So I'm, I'm very careful who I hang out with. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know, you got some people who will, will come with you and, and they say, oh, I'm coming to support, in, support you while you preach. And they are hoping you buck your toe. They are hoping that you'll have a cough so that you'll ask them to preach instead. Praise God. Amen. I want to greet the wonderful singing choirs. And I'm going to tell the young people right down here. Y'all young people, wave your hand. All of you down here. Wake him up and tell him to wave his hand a little bit. Yeah, touch him. Touch him. And I touch him. Yeah, touch him. Tell him to wave his hand. Tell him the preacher want him to wave his hand a little bit. Look at me, son. He's rubbing his nose. Look at me. You okay, son? You all right? Wave your hand like this. Come on, man. Wave your hand like this. Wave your hand like this. Yeah, good boy. Amen. Praise God. Ain't no sleeping tonight, right? Praise him. I'll be out of your face before you know it. Don't sleep on me. Praise God. God is a good God. And I want to take time out to greet my lovely wife. Amen. Which is here. My number one supporter in ministry. Amen. My, my prior partner. Even though sometimes I'm no partner because she's praying by herself and I'm sleeping. Praise God. And my Bible study partner. And, and, and as Pastor mentioned about president and assistant president. Amen. At the headquarters church. Both of us were responsible for quiz. So one is the quiz master and one is the assistant. In fact, in fact, when, when, they, were, when they were doing that church and they had a vote. Myself and my wife.
for the same amount of vote. And they couldn't, they couldn't pull it. Praise God. So Bishop said, well, seeing that it can pull, I'll let the man be the quiz master and the lady be the assistant. And I'm like, we both quiz masters. Ain't no assistant here. And that way I can get her to do most of the work. Praise God. Amen. So God is a good God. It's very good when, 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 you know, when, when partners partner in ministry. It's awesome. Amen. This mic ain't working with me. Amen. It's an ugly thing when you're in ministry and your partner don't see things the way you see. They'll struggle you. It'll mess you up. It'll cause you, you know, not to be able to focus. Amen. You know, every time I see Pastor Sims walk in a church, I can look for Lady Sims. Amen. Every time. And every time, well, most of the time, Pastor Sims got in last. But most time, amen, Lady Sims get in, I can look for Pastor Sims. <laughs> Praise God. And it's very good. It's very awesome when, when, Partners understand the calling on each other's lives. It's awesome. It's awesome. And, and some of the time, amen, when, when my wife was getting married, amen, I don't know if she was prepared to marry to a pastor. Amen. I don't know if she was prepared to marry to an elder. I don't know if she was prepared to marry to a minister. Because I was none of those when we got married. Praise the Lord. And sometimes you can't just marry based on what you see now. Praise the Lord. You've got to seek God and look 20 years in the future. Praise God. Because, you know, she could bail out and say, well, I was all right with Brother McKenzie. But I can't handle Minister McKenzie. Because you're going out too much. Uh oh, nobody ain't saying nothing. Praise the name of the Lord. You can't keep going out like that. You know, from one place to the other. And you're just going out. You're just going out. Praise God. Uh, your lady seems to send and sent Mary all kind of place. And it gets uglier when you get the overseas call. Praise God. It get ugly when you get the overseas call. If she don't understand ministry. Praise God. Sometime when I have to go overseas. And, and, and I talk to her. She just say. Go the Lord be with you. Amen. And you know. When I'm finished preaching sometime overseas. Well you know. I was not so hot. Well she wasn't either. Amen. Into all the video calls. And all them fancy stuff. But you know, when I'm at a distance, I want to see that girl face every day. Praise God. I want to hear the voice, but I want to see the face too. Amen. Remember one day I was in New York. I was there for about six weeks without her. But then she was to come over after. So that's why I, took, I stayed so long. So when I went to JFK to pick her up at the airport, Pastor, when I saw the girl coming, I almost lose my mind. Praise God. I run like a baby that was running to meet his mommy. Eyes run. See, I'm talking and I'm sweating. Let me... Praise God. Amen. I'm also blessed to have my awesome mother-in-law tonight. Praise God. And I thank God for her and that she trained her daughter right so that I can have a happy home. Amen. I think I'm her favorite son-in-law. <laughs> 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 
Praise God. Amen. I think I'm her favorite son-in-law. You can ask her. I can't ask her now. You can't do that. What if, what if she say no? <laughs> Ain't gonna let nobody fall me like that. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I give God thanks for everybody. I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. All right, I've talked enough, so let me start preaching. Amen. And, and I'll try not to be long, because you've been running this race all, all of last week into now. Amen. So I'm just here to take you through the last lap. Amen. It has been a relay, so now I'm just here to take you to the last lap. And the good thing about the anchor is that it determines the race. It doesn't matter much what happened with the first runner. If they never get it right. It can still be won. I feel like I'm in the middle of the message already. I remember it was while they were having, I think, the last Olympics. And I was on my way to a church. But you know I had the radio on. I was getting ready to preach somewhere, I think, in Montego Bay. But I had to watch. I had to hear that race with Usain Bolt. And, and it was the, 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 the four by one relay. And so while I was in St. Elizabeth going down nicely, and I hear, you know, the commentator talking, then I hear the commentator said, you know, uh, they are now on their marks. I, I, I turned on my indicator. And I pull over and I say to the saints, I'm just asking for about 45 seconds. That's all I need. Praise the name of the Lord. And while the race was being run, it didn't sound so good when it started. Because you know, it's kind of tougher when you listen it on the radio because you can't see what's happening. And then all of a sudden I start to hear the name Degrass. And I said, who's this guy? He seemed to be winning. And then all of a sudden I hear, here comes the big man out of nowhere. And my head began to swell as though I was running. And then when I heard that this was now what they call it, the trouble, trouble. I said, yeah, Jamaica win again. But I want to take us through the phase of the preparation. There's a lot of stuff that happened behind the scene before the real race began. One of Usain Bolt race takes him a little over nine seconds. But the preparation takes him over nine months. Now, in order to run and to win, you've got to make sure that the preparation is right. The first thing you have got to learn to do is to listen to your coach. That's to see with me, it's going to get tough in here. If you're not willing to follow the coach's instruction, you're going to lose. Truth is, 
Mr. Glenn Mills can never win Usain Bolt in a race. She can never. Uh -uh. Oh, this is tough right now. But he is the coach. So, she has the know-how. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes, God, my friend is here. Gotta, gotta take time out. Excuse me, commercial. God bless you, Pastor. He has the know how. What am I saying? You have got to make sure that you get the proper technique from your coach. And so. The coach knows if his arm is stretched too wide. And it's going to cause the wing to hold him back. The coach knows the motion of the hand. Mm -hmm. Now, if you are in this race and you're not listening to your coach, you'll never win. Oh Lord, if you're not taking your pastor's instructions, you're in trouble. Oh Lord, y'all pray with me tonight. You've got to make sure that you listen to the coach. Praise God. Now, that is the first step, listening to the coach. After you listen to the coach, you've got to watch out for some stuff. Oh, I feel like I'm drinking. There are some substance that are on the ban list. God, I feel like you've got to watch them stuff. Touch your neighbors and watch what you eat. Oh Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah to God. Because if you ever consume what is on the ban list, when the race is finished, you're going to be disqualified. Hallelujah to God. You've got to follow the band list. Watch it carefully. Oh Lord have mercy. How much of you know that in the Christian race there is a band list? Oh Lord have mercy. Hallelujah to God. Lying is on the band list. Stealing is on the band list. Backbiting is on the band list. Fornication is on the band list. You've got to watch the things that will turn you away from God. Watch what is on that band list. It'll mess you up. Hallelujah to God. Mm, I, I got a little way to go. Let me see. I can take my time. Now, after you learn to deal with the band list, because it doesn't make sense you race if you don't understand what's on the band list. Hallelujah to God. We have seen some great runners have to give up their medal. Because when their system was test, things were present in their body that was on the ban list. I wonder tonight what is in our body. Uh oh. It's the last time. I'm going to take us, amen, to the finish line. Don't worry. So 
some of the time we've got some stuff within our body that's bad. Praise God. And it's not just going to cause you to lose your medal. It's going to cause you to be suspended. And then what we try to do, we blame the powers that be when we get suspension. Oh God, why am I preaching like this? We never looked in ourselves and said, well, if I didn't touch this, I'd be all right. Do you know you got people in church that mess up and they never see the problem as the mess? Oh, somebody talk back to me. You have the mess all over you. But you don't see the mess. You know who you have a problem with? Who's telling you that you messed up? Now, 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 don't you think if you had washed your garment and looked nice, nobody could complain? When you mess up, stop blaming people. Praise the name of the Lord. Start looking at your set. Praise God. So now when you know the things that are on the ban list, then you start the process of training. Hallelujah to God. Even though you're just running a race, it's going to require that you go to the gym every now and then and lift some weights. What are you saying, preacher? I'm saying it takes all that for you to win the race. Oh, preacher, what are you saying? Because some people are saying, I don't think it takes all that uh, for me to be saved. You better humble yourself uh, in the presence of the Lord uh, and work out your own salvation with fear uh, and trembling. I come to tell you, it takes all that and more. Well, I don't see why I have to train so hard. The race is only 10 seconds yet. You're going to need some fasting. You're going to need some prayer. You're going to need some consecration. You're going to need the word of God. You're going to need to walk in the will of God. It takes all that and more. Ask your neighbor, neighbor, do you still want to win? Jesus have mercy. Do you still want to finish the race? Hallelujah to God. Because it is a process. So now after you undergo the training now, beloved brethren, and you go to all the regime, the next thing you have got to do, you've got to show up for the race. You can't win if you don't show up. Hallelujah. It's too many time. We got too much excuses. Well, I couldn't make it. I couldn't come. The devil is a liar. If you want to win, you've got to show up. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, the plane ain't leaving me. If it's going to Rio, I'm coming. I wish I could preach in here. Anywhere it's going. If it's going to Beijing, I'm there. If it's going to Berlin, I'm there. If it's going to heaven, I'm there. Because I've got to win. Truth is, you've got to be there. And after you get there, you still have to train. Oh. Because guess what? Now, you're in a different climate. And you've got to train and get used to the new environment. The track 
is different. You know, you got some people only can shout in their church. Hey, hey, I think I'm preaching now. Hallelujah to God. You've got some people only can still shout in their corner. I hear David say, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continually be in my mouth. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm going to bless the Lord. I'll give me some time. Let me let me try to get you on the track. Because you're not even on track yet. Hallelujah. And so now you've got to show up for the race. And now after you show up. You've got to make sure. That when they call. And say it's time. For your particular race to run. That you are on track. And that you are in your gear. You can't show up. To a 100 meters. And, 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 and you said on your marks. In a three piece jacket suit. Oh 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 oh. Hallelujah to God. Uh, yeah, you, you, you've got to make sure that you dress according to the race. Hallelujah. Uh, Paul, I think, said, lay aside every heavy weight and sin that easily beset you and run the race with patience. If you're going to run the race, you've got to put aside the heavy stuff. If you're going to win the race, you've got to put pride aside, put malice aside, put envy aside. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Take unto you the whole armor that he may be able. David said, I can't run with these. I'm not a proof of these. Take them off me. So, you've got to make sure that you're on the track in your right gear. Oh, Lord. Touch your neighbor. Say, neighbor, we're on track now. Yeah, we're getting ready to move off now. Uh, we're getting ready to run. I, I'm trying to finish by 10 o'clock. Praise the name of the Lord. Uh -huh, we're on track now. We're getting ready to run. I also want us to understand that the race is both a contest and a conflict. The race is a run and it's a fight. You've got to fight to win. Look at your neighbor, tell him, fight to win. Oh Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. So it is a contest. And it is a conflict. Praise the name of the Lord. Before you start the race. It's important that you know. And we're getting ready to get on the marks. But before we get there. It's important that we know. That the race has no time out. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah to God. There is no time out in the race. Once the gun go off, you've got to keep on running. Oh, Lord. 
<laughs> Hallelujah to God. Uh, are you ready for this now? Uh, are you ready? The race, before I send you off, uh, the race is full of obstacles. Uh, the race has its fair share of hurdles, uh, have its barriers. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and guess what? You cannot afford. It. If it's a hurdle, you've got to jump over it. If it's water, you've got to jump over it. I wish I had a church to preach you. I don't matter what it is. Run. If it's fire, run through it. If it's Red Sea, part it. If it's Goliath, kill it. I wish I could preach in here. You cannot stop. You cannot stop. Once you start, it is he that shall endure unto the end that shall be saved. Who shall that Oh Lord, have mercy. Pain is temporary. Oh, Lord God. Pain is temporary. But pride is permanent. You know, you got some stush people who want to show up at the starting line but don't want to run. Where you going with that? Hallelujah to God. I'm going to tell you this. If you're going to run, you're going to feel some pain. But it's going to be over in a little while. I come to tell you the pain won't last always. For I heard the word of the Lord say, Weeping may endure for a night. But joy is coming in the morning. So I'm getting ready to send you off. You know, on your march. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you're on your marks, you've got to make sure that you check where you're at. Make sure that that starter, that your foot is kicking, ain't moving. Because you've got to make sure that your right foot is going to move you off. Who am I preaching to? You've got to make sure that when you move off, you move off with power. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I've got to get a good start. Good God Almighty. I've got to get a good start. Ain't no devil gonna let me stay back in my blocks. The devil is a liar. When I move out, I move out. But hey, hey, can I tell you one thing? Don't false start. I had to drop that in. Because sometimes we get so excited that we try to run ahead of everybody else. You try to pass everybody else. I don't care what pastor is saying. I know what I'm doing. False start. I don't care who's telling me what. You can't tell me nothing. I'm my own big man. False star. Hallelujah to God. You can say what you say. I'm turning my own key. False star. Hallelujah to God. You can't tell me nothing. I'll marry who I want to marry. False star. I feel the Holy Ghost in here. I hear the Lord said, Don't fall, start. Get it right. Get it right. Pastor can say what he wants. Hallelujah. Pastor, bread, butter, both sides. Fall, start. Pastor just talking. He's not hearing from God. False star. (laughs) 
Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. One of the first things that they teach you in athletic is discipline. If you're not disciplined, you cannot run. You've got some people in church, they're running like crazy and don't even realize their fast start. I feel like preaching now. Hallelujah. Because I feel like we're going to move off. Hallelujah. And so, after we get ready, I told you, you're on your mark. And then there is the get set. When the get set is set, you make sure you hold your head up. Look towards the finish line. Forget your opponent. Don't look at nobody. You are going to run to win. Woo. Hallelujah. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God. And so when you hear the gun, that fire, that's when you move off and you don't stop running. Hallelujah. You might do well sometimes. With a little encouragement. It makes you feel good. When you hear. Run Sims. Run Sims. Run Sims. Run. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. I'm cheering for you. I'm shouting for you. I'm praying for you. Run. Run, 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 don't give up, don't give in, don't move out, run, 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 the race with patience, forget the things which are behind, reach for the things which are ahead. Hallelujah. Know that you are running. And some of you are standing already. That's good. It means that you're in motion. How much of you ever see anybody run sitting down? Hallelujah to God. Some of you are already in motion. But now that you start running, there's one more thing I've got to warn you against. Preacher, what could that be? I'm already running. Preacher, what could that be? I'm already on the track. Preacher, what could that be? Everything look good. Watch out for lane violation. Tell your neighbor, stay in your lane. Can I preach this? Because you've got some people in church who have bad mind. And as soon as they see you trying to move forward, they shift over into your lane. Tell the neighbor, come out of my lane. See in your lane. I'm running. I'm running for my life. If anybody asks you, what's the matter with me? Tell them I'm saved, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, fire baptized. I'm ready. Hey, stay in your lane. I say, stay in your lane. Watch your feet, watch your feet. Where they go. For there's a father up above looking down. Return the law. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. I 
ask your neighbor, neighbor, what you doing in my lane? Lord God Almighty, what you doing in my lane? Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. I hear the Lord said there's too much lane violation in church. Them said we must see a year so, but me can't bother. Jesus, I wish I could preach. They say I should do this, but I can't. They say I should go there, but I can't bother. Too much lane violation. Stay in your lane. Pastor, you come from Clarendon, you know the runnings. Sometime, Rev, you come in from Clarendon and you're trying to catch porous. But sometimes some big key and truck block the whole road going five kilometers per hour. Jesus have mercy. And you are in a hurry. And every time you turn on your indicator, you see something come. Good God Almighty. But guess what? They fix up the bypass. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. They fix up the bypass. Look at your neighbor. Tell him, neighbor, if you're in my lane, I'm going to bypass you. I wish I could preach in here. If you're in my lane, I'm going to bypass you. Because I have to finish. I got to finish. I got to finish. I'm on my way to glory. And I am pressing. I am pressing. If you're running and nobody is encouraging you, encourage yourself. Hallelujah. I say encourage yourself. I will not give up. I will not give in. I will not roll over. I will not. I was told about a race I'm closing. And this man was the favorite to win. But as he began to run, he pulled up somewhere in the early part of the race. And everybody passed him. And he was there limping. His daddy ran down and said, son, we understand. You're not well. So just pull over. And come out of the race. Because you won't win anyway. The man keep on moving. The man said daddy. You see all those supporters. They travel from their country. To come and watch me. Run this race. Daddy, my country never sent me all the way to Brazil to give up in the middle of the race. I might be limping, but I'm going to finish. I might be hurting, but I'm going to finish. I might be under pressure, but I'm going to finish. I might be criticized, but I'm going to finish. Everybody say. Who shan that ever say? Everybody stand to your feet.
And just turn around to one neighbor and say, neighbor, hold on to them. Say, neighbor, don't stop till you cross the line. Uba shanda rabasi. Ila baba shando Declare it to somebody else. Tell them, neighbor, don't stop till you cross the line. Do you know? Do you know that in racing there's a lot of intimidation? From you at the finish line about to move up. Man, I make up face at you. Man, I say you can never win me. Man, I say you're going to give up. Man, I say why you not backslide. Man, I say why you not give up. Man, I say why you not give in. But I come to tell you, the devil is a liar. I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which maketh the heavens and the earth. I'm not giving up. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Your monkey face has nothing on me. Jesus have mercy. I say your monkey face have nothing on me. Your long tongue have nothing on me. Your cut eye have nothing on me. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run. Grab a hold to that one neighbor again. And this time, hold them with both hands. Oh, I'm going to land this thing right now. I'm getting out of here. Hallelujah to God. Hold on to them with both hands. And if you can, hug them, hug them. And tell the neighbor, the last race that you lose have nothing on this one. Oh God, I feel God in here. Hallelujah to God. Tell him you're going to win. Come on, declare it. Tell him you're going to win. You're going to win. You're born to win. You're going to win. I see win all over your face. I see winning all over you. You're going to win. Tell them neighbor Don't lose In this race Tell them again neighbor Don't use My last race To judge this race Cause I'm going to win I don't care how much you lost. I don't care what they say about you. I don't care who gave up on you. I tell you, stay in training. Oh, Shanda, sir. Stay in training. While they're criticizing you. While they're talking bad about you. While they're giving up on you. While they say you can't make it. Keep on training. The more you train, the better the result. You're gonna win. Oh, Shanda, sir. Ah, Yabasha. Let me wrap this. Now find a new neighbor. Hold on to a new neighbor right now. If you've got to move to find them, find a new neighbor. 
find somebody that look determined. Find somebody that look like they have a determined spirit. Find somebody that look like they want to make it. Find somebody that look like the position to win. Yes, find somebody that look like they are set up for a miracle. Find somebody. Yes. I'll close this. I'm going to close this. I'm going to close this. But I come to tell you, you're bound to win. 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 The race is fixed. Oh Lord have mercy. I said the race is fixed. Because grace is working for you. The race is fixed. For grace is running with you. Grace is your coach. So you cannot lose. Hold on to that neighbor. Look them dead in the eye. Hold on musicians. I'm going to let you play in a minute. Look to that neighbor. Look them dead in the eye. And say neighbor. You don't have to start well. To end well. Tell him neighbor. Don't let your past. Affect your future. Tell him neighbor. In the name of Jesus. This is your race. Tell him neighbor. Your name. Is already. Engraved in the gold medal. Your name is already. In the gold medal. It cannot change. You're gonna win. Let me use this. Let me land with this. Oh, Sean Dadaba. Somebody open your mouth and give God praise in here. There's a release. There's a release. Somebody shout release. Holy Ghost release. Shandayabasa. Somebody shout release. Somebody shout release. Somebody shout release. Yes. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. There is a move of God in this house. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. Oh, yes. Who Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This church is under curfew. I feel some people in training. I feel some people in preparation. I feel some people getting ready to cross the finish.
this lie. I feel some people running for their life. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 Lord. Yes, 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 Lord. Yeah, 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 yes. Yeah, 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 yes. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, run on up. Run on up. Run on up. I'm not done preaching, but I got to close. Run on up. There is a move of the anointing. There is a shift. There is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Lord. 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 I breathe the Holy Ghost wind on you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Release it. Release it. Release it. Release it. I breathe the Holy Ghost wind over your life. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. I release it. Somebody better worship. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. Somebody worship. Open your mouth. Worship. Open your Malta, Russia. Yes, 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 worship him. Worship him. Open your mouth.